80s contests. All right. Yeah, we haven't been there before. Side note. Everybody in this town wants to get down. What, like what ones were good ones and what ones were shit ones? Let's go to Joe's, you know, Joe Lopes in San Leandro. You know, he had a, a backyard ramp, took up his entire backyard. You know, people sat on the garage roof to watch the event. Yeah! Uh, the clown ramp, you know, the shut up and skate events. Again, Thrasher partnering up with Jeff Newton, the boys, and, you know, the, the early clown ramp contest. Yeah! The Tahoe ramp and the bridge of death. And then they rebuilt the Tahoe ramp, and that's when they did Tahoe One. Was it the Mile High Massacre, I think is what they called it. And then uh, Terror Tahoe was the second one. Or I may ha have them reversed. Or they went to St. Petersburg and done the St. Pete contest. Palmdale was a contest, and they, they filmed Palmdale to put it like on Wild World of Sports or something. Austin, Neil Blender, unbelievable you know, one-handed handstand. He must have been up there five seconds at least. There he goes again. You look like you're out of breath. Tell us about that last run. Uh, it was it was scary. And uh, what are you gonna do with your four hundred dollars if you win it, big guy? Spend it on a car lot. There's the, the Rich Flower Days ramp in Nebraska. That's the Midwest Malie, which was not a skateboard contest, was just an expression session. Hasoi cut the first love shirt. There was a, a fucking sequence of him. Lock of Lances was a perfect example of that. We just showed up and everybody skated and people fucking ripped. And an article was born out of it to put in the mag. And it, and it was badass because kids, kids all over the country, kids all over the world were doing it. They were building ramps in their parents' backyard and getting together for these backyard events that they were putting on themselves. You know, whether it was the mess series in, in, you know, in the Midwest or some of the stuff that they did in Europe, just little local, local contests and local events. Ben Skateboarding slowly starts to gain some momentum and start to have a resurgence in popularity. And as it does so, these ramp events get bigger and bigger and bigger. Pretty soon we're standing in small arenas, you know, it's like arena rock for skateboarding. And they'd fly Tim Payne out, he'd build some sort of ramp, you know, and 10,000 people in the arena and we're skating in the dark right, underneath colored lights and, and it's like what the fuck's going you know and Hasoy is doing 10 foot backs and airs you're out in Kentucky and you're in Chicago and the blowout Little Rock Arkansas I turned pro in Mobile Alabama at the Southern Fried Shred but it, you know it wasn't sustainable and you know like it was elitist Skateboarding is not about being contained, you know, it's about whew, vert ramp contest. They were fun for a while and then they weren't, so they went away. <laughs> There's the Vision Skate Escape and then I forget what they called the Anaheim contest, uh, you know, one that Jeff Phillips won on mushrooms or whatever. Everybody says it was acid, but from my understanding it was mushrooms. <laughs> 